Good afternoon, everybody. I'm here with my 2004 Dodge Ram 2500 pickup. Uh, it's a Cummins truck, but that shouldn't matter. This should be the same for all Dodge Rams of this era. Uh, I have a windshield wiper problem. Uh, sometimes when I turn my windshield wipers on, I do nothing until I go all the way to full blast. Then they turn on. Um, sometimes uh, I'll turn it on one click and it'll be at full blast. It just does weird stuff. And then on this last trip that I took, it even started, um, you wouldn't, it wouldn't turn off. I'd have to go back and forth with the switch multiple times just trying to get it to turn off. Uh, and my research that I've done, it's something to do with the wiper module, which is attached to the motor, which is up, you know, with the whole assembly under the cowl. So that's what we're going to do. I got a brand new motor with the wiper arm assembly, well not the big arms, but you know, the linkage assembly and everything, and we're gonna go ahead and get this installed on the truck. So let's go ahead, since we're here, let's open up this box from Dodge and see what we got. Wiper module and motor. The module is the part that we're having problems with, not the motor. But it's all one thing from Dodge, so that's where we're at. Working with what the dealer gives us here. Right. So I uh, believe. I don't know where the module is. They call this a module. I'm not seeing like a, bo a computer box on here or anything. But uh, this is the whole assembly and apparently this is what's causing us problems. If the old interwebs are correct. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this thing installed. All right, the first thing you got to do is take this windshield wiper arm off, right? So you have to, there's a little arm right there. You see that just picked up there? That is what holds the arm on. So if you pull this back, you should be able to just pull this right off. Well, probably helps if we don't have pressure, pressure on it from the spring there. Just like that. So lift the arm up, I guess helps for sure. And then pop that little guy up. That retainer. Pull it right off. All right, so there's a screw right here. There's a screw right here in the corner of this plastic cowl piece. And there's one on the opposite side. So you gotta get both of these screws out. All right, now we can pop the hood. Okay. The next thing you gotta do is remove these retainers here that hold it down not this this is like a piece of insulation or whatever you don't have to pull that off that's attached to this to this plastic housing along with this seal none of that really has to come off but you do have to get under here and pull these clips out and it usually helps if you have one of these tools but one of these tools but, uh, you can do it other ways and look at that, that's pulled right through the, without pulling the grommet out. Yeah, I hate these things with a passion. All these little clips and retainers, they kind of suck. Especially this kind, the Christmas tree kind. See that? There we go, that one came out. All right, so we gotta go along. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of those, and the bad guy should come out. Push it up this way, and then it'll unhook. Oh no, I got a rat's nest over here. 
Oh, gross. Something has built a nest in the cowl of my truck. Uh, so another thing you got is this windshield washer fluid squirter. Got to disconnect that. Let's look what's go what's happened here. Oh. I don't know how old or how fresh this may be. Oh my goodness, look at that. Gross. I gotta get some gloves and garbage can. So there's only, I believe, three bolts holding this whole thing in. So first, we're gonna unplug it, right there. Super simple. One ten, one ten millimeter here. One ten millimeter here. And that one right in the middle there. right up. Yep, there we go. I guess we'll put these little, we'll put, clean these up, put these little guards on the new one, whatever they are. Go ahead and plug it back in. It's got to go in hole right there, get our three 10 millimeters, one here, on the end, this one right here, face it down, and then this one in the middle here, not in the middle of the truck anyways. cover. And I'm sure all that will help get washed out some more when we're driving. can't believe there was a rat's nest in there. It's pretty gross. Uh, luckily it doesn't look like you chewed on anything. Take this. When you're putting this in, this is what holds it in place right here. These little hooks. Plastic hooks. So you're going to kind of feel those engaging. You should. You need to get those engaged, basically, in there. There's one of my clips. Close it, put the two uh, hood screws back in. Oh, you know what? Don't forget to hook up your windshield wiper squirter right here. And there's a little fitting right there, it goes on. And then that actually goes, there we go, that fits better. There's a little spot for that guy. We're gonna bolt, we're gonna screw down the two outsides. I'm gonna put the windshield wiper on, wiper arms on. One screw over here. Okay. One screw over here. Okay. Let's go ahead and clip these on. All right, so we got our windshield wipers on. Sometimes you gotta play with them to get them back where you want them. Pull 
We now have intermittent wipers, which we didn't really have before. And then there's sped up. There's our first notch of on. There's high. It works. So if you're having issues with your Dodge like this and the wipers are being erratic, they're not wanting to shut off. They're not wanting to turn on intermittently. You know, maybe they just want to run it full blast and that's it. Good chance that it is that wiper motor assembly because the wiper motor is not finding the spot where it needs to stop, I guess, something like that. But yeah, I hope this helped some people. Um, if you like this video, smash that like button. Also subscribe to this channel to get uh, notifications of new videos coming out. Check out the huge selection of old videos that I got. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps somebody. We'll catch you on the next one.